I'm Brandon, and I'm a travel addict. I'm not your average traveler. I don't do flowery hotel rooms, strict itineraries, <laughs> or massive budgets. I go big, I go hard, I go with limited funds. From wild festivals, getting down with nature, and diving headfirst into foreign cultures, each day is an adventure you can't afford to miss. So zip up your backpack. You are now traveling with the Dime Traveler. Cinque Terre, or the Five Lands in Italian, is a breathtaking stretch of Italian Mediterranean coastline 460 kilometers northwest of Rome. The five towns that make up Cinque Terre, Rio Maggiore, Monterola, Corniglia, Vernazza, and Monterosso, are 400-year-old fishing villages built right into the sea cliffs. Almost none of the villages can be accessed by car, so to see them all, you have a couple options. Hike the five-hour trail starting at the Lover's Walk in Rio Maggiore, or take the one euro and 30 cent train from town to town, which offers stunning views of the coast. The charming towns, scenic landscape, and calm water make Cinque Terre a favorite summertime destination for European families and lovers wishing to lock in their love forever. So why am I here? Is it for the picturesque hikes through terrace farmlands, the taste of two Euro pizza in the sun, or to stroll through quaint postcard-ready villages? Well, yeah. But mainly I'm here because Cinque Terre is the perfect spot to conquer my fear of heights through cliff jumping. All right, here's what you gotta do to cliff jump successfully. You have to eye up the height of the cliff, estimate the depth of the water, and adjust your running speed to clear the underwater rock shelving. After all the calculating and cliff scouting, I still wasn't prepared for lunch. Oh, I caught it, dude. I got scared. I wasn't ready for this whole cliff jumping thing and needed time to regroup in La Spezia. La Spezia is a town right outside the five villages that offers cheaper food and lodging due to less tourist traffic. If you don't book in time to stay in Cinque Terre, La Spezia is a great plan B. The town has a real authentic vibe and a delicious pizza place that makes for a wonderful last meal if you should decide to throw yourself off jagged rocks the next day. Morning has come. It's now or never. I'm nervous as hell. Be sure to plan your stay in the Cinque Terre area for a couple days because the benefits of these amazing villages can have a lasting impact. Even if you do flail your arms like a newly born fledgling, 